there isn't a great deal of sketches for my work. Um, I find that if I draw something over and over again, it loses some of its freshness. And um, I find that I draw better if I do it for the first time because I'm more focused. And um, I put in a lot of um, spontaneity into um, the images. So my sketches are usually very, very rough. They just outline what goes where. Um, this was a sketch for the first uh, illustrations. I have done some um, drawings of bats. I went to a Lancashire Bat Society meeting and they had a lot of specimens. They had a skeleton, they had some um, uh, very nice pictures of bats. So um, I took some notes and made uh, as many sketches as I could for future references and a lot of them have been used um, for different parts of my work. Also, if I don't have a sketch for something, um, I really like using props and um, a lot of the times just a simple mannequin like that will do. But um, occasionally if um, a character is clothed or I need a, a particular dynamic pose, uh, I use um, sort of this doll which uh, sort of has very nice articulated limbs. It can be positioned and um, I did use it for the drawing um, where um, the girl was walking up the stairs so it was quite easy to position and then uh, yeah, sort of I could draw the walking figure. I believe that keeping up with the contemporary drawing practice is very important for an illustrator. So um, I tend to, in the beginning of every project, to look at um, various contemporary drawings to see if there's anything in them that will make me think of something for my own illustrations. And these are some of the images that um, inspired me in the current project. I like the sparring use of colour here. Um, I've tried to do that very same thing, um, to use just a few shades to add to a black and white drawing, um, to create accents and uh, draw the eye to um, specific elements. For um, patterns in the background, um, I was looking at the work of, um, of this artist. Um, I went to her exhibition in Moscow and um, she uses lines and um, creates patterns in a way that they are very sufficient in themselves. They don't need anything else. Or they can form a part of a larger image. And um, again, whenever I had a space that I wanted to offset with a bit of pattern, I would use and come up with different um, sort of repetitive elements that I could fill the background with. That's more of her work here. I have myself created um, a sketchbook which I use for creating textures for future reference. So um, in this sketchbook, I have a lot of um, 
these little patterns. Sometimes they're quite basic, sometimes they uh, take a long time to make. But at least I have different things that I've tried, so I know exactly what they look like on a larger scale instead of trying something and then figuring out that it doesn't work like one of them. Um, it sounded like a good idea when I started it, but um, it is just quite harsh from the eye. These are some of the, uh, the better ones. I wanted to add a contemporary element to my illustrations and add the sense of uh, dynamic um, into the scenes. Um, for this reason I looked at graphic novels um, for ideas on how to make uh, the images more dynamic because there's a lot of uh, action in the, uh, the graphic novels. Um, one of my favourite um, uh, artists is uh, Dave McKean and um, yeah, sort of this sense of dynamic is something that I was very hard trying to capture. We're looking at a more traditional uh, DC Comics style um, illustration. There's still some components that I thought I could use. Um, I particularly like this um, uh, dynamic jump where all the phases of the jump are superimposed to one another. I did actually use um, uh, this in one of um, the images from the um, introductory chapter. And there's also a um, manga which um, sometimes comes up with the most amazing um, and unusual ideas. So um, I did look into that as well. Because this book is so focused on um, metaphysics and philosophy, I found that one of the um, big sources for inspiration for me were um, biblical scenes and um, in particular William Blake or um, quite a few of the images from an exhibition I went to um, about witches. They're very complex illustrations with um, a lot of symbolism and subtext. Um, on the other hand, they are fairly re realistic, but they have some um, fantastical uh, imagery in them. Some um, distortions, some uh, sort of just weird little things. Um, I then had a look at um, a contemporary illustrator who um, had um, these drawings that made me think of vampires, despite the fact that they are not about vampires at all. Um, and then I managed to pinpoint what it was that made me think of vampires when I looked at it. And it was the, um, the faces, the, the blank eyes, um, which... Um, made me think that just if I just worked with the eyes and sort of a slightly off colour of them and a slightly uh, sinister look, I could achieve um, an illusion of the person being a vampire without having to do any other embellishments on their appearance. <laughs> 